Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul and my wife, Gail Maxson. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Boy, it was a beautiful scripture. My wife put on the, the Facebook page. Maybe we should go read it. Oh, it's beautiful. If you're on our Facebook page group, my wife posted a scripture this morning. We've been reading daily bread every morning. My wife reads it, and we just apply it to our life and pray. It is so powerful. You don't have to... The message is you don't have to put up and tolerate with the wiles of the devil. You could submit to God and resist him and and, and he's got to flee. There's there's the truth exposing the lie of the attack. The devil's trying to put you under through condemnation and false accusations right now. If you just had the fortitude, if you just had the faith, if you just trusted Jesus just a little more, his voice would stop. If you would just arm her up, and seek ye Jesus Christ. And from the scripture my wife posted this morning. Let you have the mind of Christ. It says. Put, it was Philippians. It says put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. And make no room for the provision of sin. Uh, if someone could Google that. Put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. And make no room for the provision of sin. Or That's like in my spirit. I believe it's going to be like Romans 13. Or Romans 16. How high does the book of Romans go up? My hand to 16. I think it's 16. It's 13 or 16. How long? I'm pretty positive it's 16. Now I got it. Did you say put on the form of God? Yes. Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Finally be strong in the Lord in his mighty power. 11. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take care of your stand against the devil's schemes. Hey, Amen. That's the full armor that it says pray it always. It is Romans 16. Oh, this one's Ephesians 6 10. Ephesians, yeah, that's for the armor of God. It, and what it's saying is put on the helmet of salvation. It's like the same thing. He's Pretty saying strong. put ye on the mind of Jesus Christ. That is the helmet of salvation. It's powerful. This one's in Romans 16. Okay, read yours again, my head. Ephesians 6.10 Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. 11. And put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. 12. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers against the authorities, against the power of this dark world, against the spiritual forces of evil in, in the heavenly realms. I'm not seeing. Put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. It, it, I, I'm quite sure it's Robots. It's 13. And it leaks to Ephesians 4. Okay, so listen to this part now. It's saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. This is the Apostle Paul. He's just relaying the words of Jesus through the Holy Spirit. This is how we're doing on this ministry. We could still do this today. It says, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. In other words, if you don't have on the armor of God, in Ephesians 6 and 10 through 13 and 14, I believe it talks about praying always, and, and you're not praying always, that you're susceptible to the attacks of the enemy. This is not why I decided to begin recording this. This is just a move of God upon his people in the last days. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fill the lust thereof. And it's telling you how to do that in Ephesians 6 through 10. T just read 6 and 10 again, my hood. What more time? Take your time. But put, this one says, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the armor of God right there. In Philippians 4, let me find that one. Oh, it went back to the new one. I like the classic one. 
Ephesians 10. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. 11. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Okay, now check this out. I think that's the word God had me use for you don't have to put up with the devil. I think it's like wiles or like sneaky, crafty tricks, right, yeah. laws. So, so Romans 13, 14 says, but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. It, it said, put on the armor of God. So you, you, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, we bind, we bind your precious mind, Yeshua, to our mind, those in your body. We bind your mind to our mind and we armor up right now in Jesus' name before we take another step and we give you all the praise and glory. And you say, this will not lead us into temptation, but will deliver us from evil, you say. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. We're not making no room for the provision of sin and flesh up in here. So thank you, my head. Yeah, wild uh, is devious or cunning manipulation, pursuing someone to do what one wants, tricks, bruises, ploys, schemes. Amen, my head. Now, I have to tell you something. Thank you, Gail. I love you. I have to tell you something that the Lord is showing me, and I guess this is going to have to go on the backup channel. Maybe I can re-upload it to the main channel. It appears they've added a day somehow, so it said two days, but now it's been changed back to one day. When I counted the days, it was ending today. But it looks like tomorrow now, 424. So while I'm waiting for YouTube to give me back my First Amendment rights, <laughs> isn't it crazy? We're reading scripture over here. They'll probably try to stop that soon, too. The Lord has me reviewing messages I received from 2016. This outpouring that has fell upon us right now also fell in 2016. And the Lord had me make, I think, like 200, I'm not kidding you, 200 videos based on Bible prophecy and future events. Just 200 videos in 2016 alone. And he has me reviewing him. As you can see right here, I'm on day 10 on this playlist for 2016. And uh, I, I, I noticed up here in the comments, maybe I could show you. Let me see. Where are those Cobbit things again here? So this sister right here, watch this. Let me try switching. Hallelujah. I'm on my backup channel, so let me go to the main channel. So this sister right here, look, your comment has vanished. Sister Bear Witness Valen. Uh, her name is Sister Christine. Bear Witness, your comment has been here, is now vanished when I go to look for it. There's something hokey on YouTube, man. That's it. <laughs> yeah, right. But they also, I was also sent an email of her message, Sister Christine, also known as Valen, V-A-L-A-N or E-N, I can't recall. Um, she sends a message through the website, through email, through commenting on YouTube, and finally through private message on Patreon. She finally is able to get through to me through a private message on Patreon. And it's this huge thing. And she's talking about uh, Minister Paul. L let me see if I could find it. Oh, and also, folks, um, we if uh, Paul's channel gets back up tomorrow, praise God, we'll have church on Sunday on his normal channel. So we'll uh, schedule that as soon as um, he's back up. So I'm going to remove the Zoom for you folks that are on our Facebook page. Remove that and we'll replace it. 
for for those uh, for those that couldn't hear, but we checked the audio, and it seems like it's working pretty well with this new microphone. Thank you, Jesus. We were we were going to have church on Zoom, and we love the Zoom. We're going to start doing private intercession and prayer requests and testimonies and and things like that on the Zoom. We love the Zoom; it's awesome. And then uh, we're going to have church. 425 on the main channel of Minister Paul, where we always have, with the moderators and the comments and everything on the main channel, it gets released tomorrow, and then the next day we'll have church, April 25. I can't make that event so that you can be notified and seen until they free my channel. So that'll be tomorrow, there'll be an event. Uh, and then Zoom, we'll, we'll continue on Zoom, but nothing on Zoom is scheduled as of now. The only thing scheduled is the main Minister Paul channel, 46,000 subscribers, church Sunday, 425, 11 a.m. in that specific standard time. Thank you, my head. So, the sister... After, after I'm already reviewing messages from 2016, as instructed by the Holy Spirit in His presence, I get this emailed, and then I, and then it comes in through the website last night while I'm sleeping. And then the comments, and then a, a private message on Patreon. And it's kind of long, and there's more than this. This is just a small part of it. It's, I'm like, uh, I'm, I, I kind of put it on the back burner, you know. I'll get to that in a second. You know, my boarded routine and everything. But it just kept pestering me and pestering me that I had to read it. So as I read it, and you can read it if you want. She's talking about, watch this. Hi, Paul. Not sure if you remember me. This is Sister Christine. I believe there's four Sister Christines. So this is Sister Christine Valid or Valid or however it may be. I know there's four of them. Thank you, Jesus, and bless the Christines. He was showing you. <laughs> he was. Sh God has used me as confirmations to things he was showing you before around 2016 to 2018. So it's the same year, and God has used her before to make major confirmations, and it started back in 2016. She's been listening to, for five years. Um. She says, I can say that the Holy Spirit is evident in you. Thank you, sister, and you also. And then and she goes on to talk about Jeremiah 37. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. For my morning study. And, and she says, I felt led to read from chapter 36 to 40 of Jeremiah and break it down verse by verse. It's about Jeremiah being given prophecy from the Lord to all nations about our time, I believe. Baruch wrote it down as Jeremiah spoke it and then read it to the people in the temple. Upon rereading through my study again, just now a sudden thought just came to me. I've had a feeling this study has something to do with you, MP. What just came to me is the battle of Jeremiah. Uh, that's a personal note, but that... I, I, be encouraged, you are being used as a mouthpiece for the Lord. And then maybe I to tell you this for you to go back and reread and see YouTube block this. Or may and now it's vanished. Or or maybe Holy Spirit has tried to show me something and you could help with understanding and that she talks about Jeremiah thirty six and there uh, it's Jeremiah and Baruch's side. And what he's doing and I'm reading this, what he's doing is Barak Baruch has acted as a scribe. He's trans, uh, he's he's transcribing what Jeremiah is saying and what he's to say to the king of Babylon. And and the instructions I believe are coming from the king of Judah. And he he writes it, and the king of Babylon throws it in the fire. The the scroll. It's called the little scroll. And then he. The, and then he's ordered, uh, he, uh, Jeremiah is ordered to rewrite it. And this time, Baruch transcribes it a second time. And again, he just, he throws it into the fire. So, so in the book of Jeremiah 36, she's talking about here. He says, I want you to warn a third time. 
And I'm like, I know that story. I know that story. Watch. Whoo! Where are we at? It's right here. Prophetic proclamation to the USA from the prophets. Judgment and destruction. February 26, toward February 27, 2016. Sound the alarm. Uh, and I said, so what, what I read to, uh, to Minnesota after completing the seven states of Jesus matters, explaining that right here, was the exact chapter she's discussing. Bar Baruch. And, and you can see right here, it's Jeremiah 36. Away, for great is the anger and fury of the Lord hath pronounced against this people. And Barak the son of Neariah did according to all that Jeremiah the prophet commanded him, reading in the book the words of the Lord in the Lord's house. And then it comes down here, and he's war. And so it, God says he's destroyed it twice. He says, warn him a third time. And this is now my third warning for those seven states. And Jesus matters. I'm going to name them again. California, Oregon, Arizona, Colorado. I know there's North Carolina, but that was last. one of my miss Texas those seven states plus Minnesota New York and London that's the warning look it's basically at the 9 11 Israel, the son of Ariel and Sherai the son of Abdul to take him to bring the destruction upon America and shall cause to cease from thence man and beast. Therefore, thus says the Lord of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, he shall have none to sit upon the throne of David, and his dead body shall be cast out in the day to the heat, and in the night to the frost, and I will punish him and his seed and his servants for their iniquity, and I will bring upon him and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem and upon the men of Judah all the evil that I have pronounced against them, because they hearken not. Then took Jeremiah another roll and gave it to Barak the scribe, the son of Neriah, who wrote therein from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of the book which Jehoiakim king of Judah had burned in the fire, and there were added beside unto them many other words. And you can continue to read Jeremiah. So it looks like, therefore thus saith the Lord of Jehoiakim king of Judah, so I've tried to figure out, are the instructions coming? from the king of Judah or from God to the prophet. All I know is it has, it's talking about the lion of the tribe of Judah and Babylon and God's final warning. Like, and so every, let me read the description box. Y'all understand all of this fulfilled had happened. And I was warning that a king was going to rise and, and take over. It, okay. I said, I have been obedient to my Lord Jesus Christ, and he is my righteous judge. His word never returns void. Shalom. Do not take the mark of the beast. This was in 2016. Unchanged. You shall see confirmation of this come out of Minnesota, where atop their capital sits four horses. So the thumbnail on this is four horses powerful then I put some scriptures I put the seven Jesus matter states were judgment those are the seven states I just listed and now Minnesota pronounced represents the USA not individual states so I have to stick to that that's what the Lord's spoken seven represents completion and I give Isaiah 21, 6 through 12. This is like 100% fulfilling. 
what's happened in exactly the it i believe the capital is minneapolis am i wrong babe what's the capital of minnesota is it minneapolis it's that's the i was showing minneapolis on the map five years ago st paul. paul i think it's right i think st paul and minneapolis are twin cities on the map right next to each other i'm sure they are i know the map of minnesota pretty well um just put like map of minnesota then fight st paul and then just kind of look to the left but it should so minneapolis so this is 100 percent coming true and this and his judgment now is here and it's falling look if, if you want to test the spirit on this and you want to judge this prophecy through righteous judgment, look at what happened in Minnesota since then. George Floyd trial, George Floyd verdict, Derek Chauvin, uh, over and over again. So this has begun and it was the final one. So the, the thumbnail of this, let me do something real here. Let me switch back over to my main account. I am on my... How weird. But it doesn't let me... Crazy. Okay, so I should be able to edit this now. I want to show you the thumbnail. You see this thumbnail? This is from five years ago talking about judgment and destruction. And this is the capital there. And upon the capital sits four golden horses. Remember that word golden. There are four golden horses being rid uh, by someone behind him on a chariot. So they're in control by someone on a chariot. And I found out this means quadriga. Quadriga is what they call that. So now watch this. I actually had put the word down here five years ago. I had put quadriga. And that's, that's where it's literally all been going down is, is right there at that exact same building, man. It, and so I began to research Quadriga in these four gold horses and it led me to the word Ofer. Now watch how amazing God is. Do you remember the Ofer message? So these are four gold horses and it's called the Quadriga. And the quadriga led me to Ophir. And I have words on Ophir. Watch this. Ophir. And, and so the, the Lord has brought a, a message from this. You see this? This one looks like it goes back the farthest. Urgent. Word from God Almighty. Spirit. Oh, I remember this. I heard this. Wise spirit of Ophir, rise. I need to know the date on this. Rise, spirit of Ophir, rise. And it was confirmed by Pastor Patrick and Pastor Larry. And um, can I get a date, brothers and sisters? We don't ask too much. You know what I mean? The way. Just... January 6, 2021. Wasn't that the day the Capitol was attacked? Yep. And we warned of that attack moments before it happened. And so now Lord is moving us to this Ophir and the spirit of Ophir. And look what, when I bring up a map, I just put Ophir in gold. And I'm getting that from the four horses, the four horses of Revelation. You come on here and, and you look at this map and it says like, look, Wise Road. See, here's the city of Ophir in California where I live. It comes up because it's the closest. And then right here it says Eclipse Mine Way. Now isn't there an eclipse coming up? Someone messaged me. I don't remember who it was about an eclipse that's coming up. I thought it was this month. But I'm transitioning now. You see it? I, I, I'm transitioning now. I want to show you what else the Lord has showed me. So remember... Then I get this scripture from a pastor in New Mexico because what happened is on the Minister Paul channel, I can't upload anything. I can't live stream anything. 
and it showed I had 911 uploads. And so I wondered about that number and I took a picture on my phone. I'll send you uh, I'll send you a copy of the picture if you know how to text me I'll, I'll prove this to people and it had 911 uploads and right in front of my eyes it now says 912 912 uploads so while video watch this so while videos are being removed there there's like a a, a scrub of that related uh can't even say the word Thank you, Jesus, for catching me. There, there's a certain topic on YouTube that they're scrubbing all the videos off of YouTube. And I'm like moving, personally, I'm moving those videos from YouTube. I'm going to move them over to Rumble and the website. Anything that's V-related will no longer be on YouTube. and uh, But there's still prophecies of it that I just... So, the videos are lowering... The videos are lowering on my video count because of removal and ban and stuff like that. But somehow YouTube is claiming that while they banned me during these seven days of silence on the main channel, somehow I gained a video, but I'm not allowed, get this, I'm not allowed I'll send you the picture of the 912. It changed right in front of my eyes. I'm not allowed to upload a video to my main channel right now. I'm not even allowed to read my community wall. But it's saying I added an upload while I, while under the ban. While videos were being removed, the count went up. And the subscriber count is going up. And yet I haven't made videos. And and then, oh, I'll show them. I'm gonna, okay, I'll show you. So then if you go to if you go to my main channel and, and you find the community warning all this stuff needs to be revealed. It says you have one active strike. See this was this was like minus almost two hundred, now it's minus ninety. And and then when you see the community strike, it says you have one day left. They gave it, they gave it on April 16th and they're going to run it through today, which will be April 24th. And it says medical misinformation and then remember the encouraging and prayer and all that. And then I appealed, you know, under the rights of the Constitution, never heard back. So in here, watch. You come down here what's called your studio they call it your studio now and it says YouTube known issues so these are issues YouTube's aware of and and they highlighted on April 12th 412 likes and sub count discrepancy in watch page versus YouTube analytics in other words I'm being advised there's an issue in the people that like the video and the people who subscribe to this channel Meanwhile, they're showing a video was added. Who knows what they added? So, yeah, I got some problems with YouTube. But nevertheless, though he slay me, yet shall I trust him. So that was 9-11 and 9-12, and I took pictures. I'll text you the evidence. And the pastor in New Mexico that's getting all this revelation, Pastor Carlos, he sends me a lot of information. And he says, I'm getting Isaiah 911, 912. So I have a picture that's 911 uploads, and then I have a picture that's 912 uploads uh, while I'm banned, uh, uh, upload being added somehow. And then they added a day. I was supposed to be able to, to live today. And it's this is what it says it says, Therefore the Lord shall set up the adversaries of resin against him and join his enemies together so i'm now studying resin this is a whole new topic right here let me see what i have on google earth so i'm studying that and then it says now watch this verse the 912 so this was the first upload number that changed to this upload number that's given to pastor carlos it says, the Syrians before, 
And Syria just lobbed a missile at Israel. Will there be retaliation? What's Biden got to do in all this? And O oh, Biden and all these people. It, it's so many questions to be asked. The Syrians before and the Philistines behind. The Philistines were known uh, as giants. Like Goliath, he was a Philistine. And he got slayed. Remember with a little pebble thrown by little David. It says, And they shall devour Israel with open mouth. For this his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. But it looks like a 911 alert for Israel, and I believe the church is literally grafted in uh, as spiritual Israel. And so the so then on Ofer, I'm going to come over here and put Ofer. Try to move along faster. What pops up? Colorado, Utah, Singapore. Look at this. Let me show you something. I remember eyes to see ears to hear lord jesus and did did they remember spirit of truth or spirit of error no in between that's why if you quote the word it's always the spirit of truth look what shows up colorado oregon two of the seven states what if i put o for gold it's two of the seven what if I put O for gold? Let's just see where it takes us. Is it, that's the keyword I used. Looks like it's taking us to outer space. Take us yeah, like it normally it zooms in. <laughs> normally it zooms into the ground. This one was going up the opposite way, like we were rising up to our Jesus. Rapture! So I'm, sh I'm looking at this area, this little island. There's a little mini airport on here. The island of Guadalupe. God is showing us the an airport on the island of Guadalupe. And over here is Southern California. Right? God doesn't make any mistakes. Baja, Hermosillo, there, Sonora County. There's a, there's cities, Chihuahua. There's cities I never even heard of. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm gonna put in the other word resin, and I'm gonna show you just a couple more short things, and it could be it. There's a resin in Canada. There's a resin in Moldova. There's a uh, a Regina so I put resin so what I did was this is what I did I put Israel my phone says potential spam I put Israel but I got I put a new reader that's more gentle it introduces the announcement yes, better <laughs> the other one was bye Oh no! This one is a more meeker, gentler version. So I put it Israel, and then from here I put in resin because it, Google Earth is always going to try to recognize what's closest to you. Put that in, which I got from the scripture, remember? Yesterday it went north. Okay. So it I'll show you where it came down. It came down in this area. Right here. Hungary, Romania, Moldova. Oh see Moldova was one of the ones. So look at this Odessa. You know there's an Odessa in Texas, it's a border state. And then there's also a border Odessa. And look, another airport. So, this is bringing us to an airport on a border. Does that say USA? I thought it said USA love, but no chance. 
USA Tove, T O V E, T O V E, T O V E, that's Tove. I put meaning. Tove meaning in English. To smoke or emit a smoky smell. That's interesting. Tove is a Scandinavian given name that derives from the Old Norse name Tofa. It's also an alternative English spelling of the Hebrew name or calling it spelled Tova or Tova means. Beautiful. Urban Dictionary. Oh, we're not going there. Got to date. So then, the Lord reminded me of May Day. May Day. May Day is May 1st. I'm saying it a third time. May Day. And he has me looking at the events that occurred on May Day. And I come across on May 1st, 1006, there was a supernova, and it was observed by Chinese and Egyptians in the constellation Lupus. And, I, and I'm going to, this is going to be a whole new message, this May 1st, May Day thing. May Day, May Day, May Day. Here, here's the, here's the quadrifa thing it talks about. It mentions Apollo. Four bronze horses of St. Mark, triumphal quadriga, Roman or Greek soldiers, Venice, triumphal arch. Hey, wait, it, what, it, you know what this is making me think of? Those bale arches. Remember the Arch de Triumph? Was it that? Yeah, that's, look, you know, you know where this is in Paris? I have a video on this. I do. What's the message? I'm going to do the May 1st thing, but let, let me show you. I'm going to leave this up for a part two. This is when I, when I looked up supernova, let me mute. It, what of it's Pastor Carlos, the guy I'm talking about on text. In other words, it's a spam thing. It says a supernova was observed by Chinese and Egyptians in the constellation or lupus. I know nothing about constellations, but look look what the image is associated with it. This. I believe these are going to be the colors of New Jerusalem that's coming down out of heaven that a brother saw recently in a, a prophetic dream. He was told it was a star nebula coming down out of heaven, and he mentioned these colors. So we're gonna we're gonna do part two. We're gonna move on to this Arc de Triumph. Everybody know what I'm talking about with the the arch the the bell arch, right? I'm gonna put. I'm gonna show you. Give you just. A, We'll give you a hint here at the next image. Look at they want to show balloons that this is a some kind of joke. It's the is it oh I put ball arch. I'm like, what are all these balls? But look at all these balls, babe. It's a <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's bail. I don't even like saying the word. Bell arch. Look what pops up, New York. See this? Look. Arch of Triumph Palmyra, not Temple of Baal, to rise in New York and London. So there, look, we're ending this video. That That is an Arch of Baal. They can call it whatever they want, man. And it's missing its capstone, and they put it in New York. And New York and London are the two other locations, aside from the seven states, that I'm warning about is how this video somehow ends on Christian Today.
And I, I disagree. That it's not the temple of Baal. This is uh, this is London in the square. Oh, remember the warning of the squares? Okay, I'm gonna look in further in this. Pray more. We love you. Anything to say, my head? It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. How about this one? Lion of Judah, we worship you. 